In the last video, I showed you how to loop audio tracks in Audacity or repeat audio tracks in Audacity. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use the ending clips or sometimes you might find they're called stings or something like that. But basically, if you've bought a royalty-free track and with it comes various loops based off that audio track, then you should have at least one end clip or end sting that you can add on. So again, we're in Audacity and I am going to open the file that we worked on last time. So I'll open that file that we created our loop from on the previous video. And once it's loaded, you want to open this specified ending track that corresponds to that particular track you're using. You can actually do this putting two loops together. This is a way of if, for example, you've got the loop that we were working on before and you'd like to make it longer, maybe by 15 seconds. So you want to add the 15 second loop instead or vice versa. You want to add 30 seconds to 15 seconds, which will also give a bit more variety. Then you can use this method as well. The only thing to check with that is that when it plays back, it sounds like a smooth edit. I mean, it should because it will be based off the, the same track, but sometimes it just depends. It can sound a little bit odd. For example, if you're going from one track, one loop, that is very heavily drum based and then it suddenly goes into a loop that is very heavily guitar based. It might sound like a, a little bit too much of a leap between the two, but this is the method you would use if you wanted to add one to the next. But anyway, we've opened up our ending track that corresponds to the acoustic rock track that we were using. And that means you should now have two Audacity windows open, one with the original loop that we created in video one and another with the ending track. So then we're going to go to the edit menu and then go to select, just hover over it and it should open the next box. And when the secondary menu appears, you want to click the all option. There are keyboard shortcuts you can use to get the same result. But for this example, I'm just going to use the menu to do that action. And then again, using the edit menu, you want to click copy. Once that's completed, go back to the original loop that you were working with. And from there again, go to the edit menu option, hold your cursor over the move cursor option. And then when it opens the secondary box, click two track end. And that will take your cursor to the end of the track you've got there, because that's exactly where you want to put your end sting. We're nearly there. That's the hard bit done. So again, go to the edit menu and then this time you're going to click paste. And as simple as that, the ending clip that we chose, the ending sting, has now been added to the end of our initial track, our initial loop or repeated audio track. And you can take a listen to it to just make sure it runs smoothly from one to the next. Again, export audio as before. Enter the file name that you want to name it and then save as type. In this case, because it's going to be my master file, I'll probably save it as a WAV, but also you could save it as an MP3 file, as I mentioned previously. And there you have it. You have a piece of music that plays for the length of time you want and it ends nicely. So you can use that maybe as a backing track for a video or on a podcast introduction or any number of applications. Now, if you found these videos useful, you can take a look at my other Audacity videos in YouTube. Some of them are quite old, but Audacity hasn't changed very much over the years. So you should still find them useful. And apologies now, because I'm told I ramble too much <laughs> in my videos. So apologies for that. And if you'd like to buy some royalty-free music, and with each track comes a number of loops, so you can do some of these edits with them, then head over to my website at lisahartwell.com forward slash royalty hyphen free hyphen music, and you'll find out more about the different music packs that I sell.